This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Bobby Joe White back with me. Welcome back to FYI. Thank you. It's nice to be back. You are the Fund Development and Marketing Coordinator for the Alzheimer's Society, Landark, Leeds and Grenville, and you have a big uh, event coming up. Yeah, we do. It's our um, annual IG Wealth Management Walk for Alzheimer's coming up on May 28th. And how long has this been going on? Um, this is a, a, our 14th year. 14th. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So and yeah, it used to be a January walk and then we've kind of moved them all uh, because it's a national event. We've moved them all to uh, May, the last weekend in May. Okay. Yeah. I guess in January when you're talking national, it's warm somewhere. <laughs> well, they were all indoors. Oh, okay. Yes. We do it indoors too, for sure. For sure. Yes. So this one is on uh, May 28th and your catchment area, you're going to be uh, coordinating the Smith Falls, the Elmont and the Brockville areas. Yeah, so we have our Elmont walk starting on uh, that morning at nine o'clock and we're going to start that one at the Ottawa Valley Recreation Trail. And then 1130, we're going to start the walk in Smith Falls and it's going to be on the Cataraqui Trail. And then at one, our um, Brockville at the Mac Johnson Wildlife Trail. And people, if they want to participate and do it on their own, they can do it as well? Yeah, so we're doing a hybrid method this year. So if people want to walk virtually, which some people like to do the last two years, they enjoyed that. So it kind of allows them to walk where they are. It also allows them to walk whatever day suits them. So they can walk any day during the month of May. And we've kind of given a step challenge for that because there's approximately 4,000 people living with dementia in Lanark, Leeds, Granville area. And that's just a number of people diagnosed. That doesn't even cover the amount of people that haven't been diagnosed. So we've kind of done a step challenge for them if they want to walk virtually this month of maybe doing 4,000 steps a day for everybody that is affected. Okay, excellent. And then that's otherwise we're doing in person and it's a little more informal than we usually do just because we're still trying to keep like the social distancing COVID protocols in place until we're clear of that. So we're just asking people if they want to join our staff those are the locations that we will be walking at. We will have t-shirts available at that uh, at those locations in the morning. And we'll just sort of say a few words and kick it off that way. Okay, so you want people to uh, register ahead of time, get some sponsors, is this how this works, this one? Yeah, so um, you can register online at walkforalzheimers.ca and then you just choose Ontario and then there's the two options. So you can choose the Almont Walk or you can choose uh, virtual Brockville Smith Falls, which is all kind of joined together for registration purposes. And the only difference with that is, is our Almont Walk. We're hoping to open a overnight stay care in that area in the next five years. And uh, so we've had uh, a generous donation from the Hub Rebound Center there. And the Betty ne so we've established the Betty Neal Endowment Fund. So half the proceeds from the Almont Walk will go towards that fund specific. And then the other half and all the other proceeds will go to, it will cover the whole Tri-County area. Wow, that's wonderful, wonderful. Great support for sure. Now, yes. most people that uh, do the walk, are they, uh, you know, caregivers, family? Are there people with Alzheimer's participating? How, how does that work? Yeah, it's quite a mix. We do have some younger kids. I mean, a lot of, it's, it's really a family affair. So if somebody's walking, they're really bringing their mom or dad who's affected. It's the spouse or caregiver and their kids and their grandkids. So it's really all ages that come out and join us for it. I, and people usually have a reason. I'm walking for my grandmother. I'm walking for my grandfather. I'm walking for my uncle, yes. my aunt, that sort of thing. I'm walking for yes. somebody. Yeah, so definitely people have a purpose, you know, when they're joining us. And, you know, we raise a lot of money from this event. Like it's one of our signature events. So, you know, hopefully next year we're going to be back into the bigger in-person events, you know, so which are more fun, but. We'll take what we can get this year joining in person again. Excellent, excellent. Now, can you talk a little bit about the Alzheimer's Society? I know you do the, the fund developing and the, the marketing, but can you speak a little bit about the Alzheimer's Society? Yeah, so like the fundraising events like this go towards, the, it, the money is directly supporting our families. So we do that through um, our adult day programs. We run 12 throughout the area every week. Um, our overnight stay care. And both of those services are um, socialization activation for the person with dementia, but also gives the caregiver some respite time. And we have education services, um, support services. We have a um, dementia friendly community program, which uh, we're really promoting, which is um, 
we go out. It's a one hour training session for businesses to help them, you know, learn about dementia. So it kind of makes it an inclusive place. Like if you're taking your loved one out, let's say to a restaurant, uh, you know, those, there's a sticker on the door that identifies them as dementia friendly. So it just gives them sort of peace of mind, you know, because there can be some behaviors and it just lets them know that the people that are there understand. So it really supports services like that, that we offer. I, I really, you know, the, 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 the stay care program that you do where you have somebody stay overnight to give the caregivers and the family a good night's sleep because people with dementia and Alzheimer's, their sleep patterns are so off. So yes. if they're up, you're up. Yeah, and we have three beds for that. It's in our Smith Falls location. And so that's a little longer of a, of a respite. Our day program is, is a day respite, but our overnight stay care program is from Friday at four, I believe, until Monday at 2.30. So they stay with us for that amount of time. It just gives them a bit of a longer break. Yeah, and, and it is important. The caregivers and the families have got to take care of themselves too. And if it's just a, you know, a couple of nights of getting a good night's sleep, yeah, it, it's so well deserved, and, and it's a wonderful program yeah. that you're doing. That yes, yeah. yeah. We mean, we really are. It's, all of our services are really geared towards the caregiver and the person with dementia because yes. they're both affected. They both need our services. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you have a golf tournament coming up too. I do. Yeah, that's uh, on the July 16th out at Timber Run Golf Course. That's so, huge too. That's a big undertaking. That kind of organization. That's another event. one of our bigger events too. Yes. And so that yeah. one's going to be at a Timber Run, Timber Run, and that's uh, Bob and Isabel Golf for Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah. So we've um, been running that out there for about five or six years now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's it's again, it's one of our bigger events. It's it's really really fun. Uh, registration is open now. It's uh, one twenty five per golfer, and that includes your golf shared power cart, um, prizes, take home bag, and dinner. Wow. It's selling out pretty quickly, though. Like I it's, bet. Uh, we're already over halfway full, and we just sent the. It's been less than a week. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, it, just in the past week, the summer has it clicked its uh, light switch, and it's beautiful outside. So people want to be exactly. outside. So that's wonderful to be able to do that. So, your yeah. your IG management walk for Alzheimer's. So let's tell everybody how to register and get involved once more. So you can register online at walkforalzheimers.ca or you can call me um, at 866-576-8556 and we'll get you registered here, but preferably online if uh, people can do that. And as far as the golf tournament goes, just give me a call as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you for being here again on FYI. Bobby Joel White, the Fund Development and Marketing Coordinator for our Alzheimer's Society, Lanark, Leeds and Grenville. Thank you very much.